I heard that you want to buy an aircraft. Well, here's the thing. Pilots often find out a little too late that the aircraft that they want to buy, the insurance premium is too much, or there's too much training required for that particular aircraft, or they're not even able to get insurance for the aircraft they're looking at purchasing because they made these three major mistakes when trying to purchase aircraft insurance. What are those three mistakes? Well, it's Caleb here from Air 101 and we're gonna talk about them today. If you are about to buy an aircraft, then you have to start thinking about aircraft insurance. So here is mistake number one that pilots make when trying to buy aircraft insurance. Number one, thinking that aircraft insurance is like buying car and home insurance. When pilots are trying to get aircraft insurance for the first time, usually they just go down to their local broker and expect that they can automatically get insurance for the aircraft that they're looking at purchasing. They do this because they think it's like getting car or home insurance. But these pilots soon begin to realize that trying to get aircraft insurance can sometimes be a lot more difficult. So that leads us into point number two. Number two, trying to shop to every single broker out there to try and get the best quote. This usually happens after they make mistake number one where they realize that they can't always just go to their local broker to get a quote for aircraft insurance. The problem is with going to all these different brokers is that the aviation insurance community is not that big. So if you go to five different brokers, most likely they are going to be sending your information to the same insurance company. Now, if that insurance company sees that you're just going to all these different brokers, most likely they will decline your risk because they will feel that you are just trying to get the cheapest price possible. And they will think about it this way, that in the future, if you just find another insurance company that is cheaper, that you're just going to jump ship and go elsewhere. And that's why they most likely will not want to quote your aircraft insurance policy. Insurance companies like to have customers that will be loyal to them through the hard markets and the soft markets. And by being loyal to them, the insurance company will then go above and beyond for you as a customer. Also, this is something extremely important and why you need to be careful when just sending your application to every broker that's out there. So please, please, I'm begging you, pay attention to this part of the video. Even if you click off after this, make sure you listen to this. Now, if you end up sending your application to a broker that does not really know aircraft insurance, well, they might not display your risk properly to the aviation insurance company, which could possibly mean that you can get a decline on getting insurance for the aircraft that you're looking at buying. Now, here's the thing. After that, let's say you actually go find an aviation insurance broker that knows how to do aircraft insurance and they send it to the same insurance company. And let's say they do the best job possible on there. They talk about who you are, the aircraft that you're looking for, the training regimen that you plan on doing. They display this risk perfectly. Well, the thing is this, the insurance company will still decline to the aviation insurance broker because they have already declined to the previous broker that went to that insurance company. And by doing this, you could possibly not end up getting insurance for the aircraft that you're looking at. Please note, in saying all this, some brokers do have exclusive deals with some insurance companies. So this doesn't necessarily apply to all situations, but we're gonna talk about that in a future video. Number three, buying an aircraft before the pilot knows if they can actually get insurance for that particular aircraft. Many pilots will just go buy an aircraft and then think about aircraft insurance as an afterthought. This is not the way to do it. Because of this, it really shows a lack of planning on the pilot side of doing things. And it could also possibly show what type of pilot you may be in the future. And because of this, the aviation insurance company might just decline quoting the aircraft that you just purchased. And then you might not even be able to get insurance for that aircraft. Or if you do, it might be really expensive. I know, I know, you're excited to get that shiny new aircraft. Well, realistically, 
probably a 50 year old aircraft, but to you, it's a beautiful aircraft. But you need to be patient and think about insurance ahead of time. Also, sometimes people buy an aircraft and then they get a quote that is way higher than they expected it should be, or the training requirements are too much for them. This can cause some serious frustration for the pilot who then afterwards usually takes it out on the aircraft insurance broker, not realizing that is the aviation insurance company that actually quoted the new aircraft. So please don't make these three mistakes when purchasing your aircraft insurance. But you might wonder then, how do you find an aviation insurance broker who will help you out to make sure that you get a competitive quote with the best coverages. If you are wondering these things, then you should watch this video right here. I do realize insurance can be very boring, but in Canada, it is a requirement that you need insurance to be able to fly your aircraft. So just go along with the process so that you can get flying as fast as possible the aircraft of your dreams. Stay safe, stay current, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.